purpose and function of this grammar audit video is to give you, the viewer, knowledge regarding certain individuals out there who may not have closure on correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Caveat emptor. The audit I'm going to be doing today is on a channel called Colon Leon Colon Edwards, and the video is called Syntaxing with the Leon Colon Edwards. Now, if you just look at the title of the video down there, you can see colon, syntaxing. You have the particle of negation, ing, and then with the Leon of the Edwards, which is not correct. Uh, as regular viewers of my channel and students of mine will know with a rudimentary level of knowledge, correct sentence structure starts with a cause, a concern, and then if you're going to make it into a sentence, there's a verb, and then possessive concern, possessive authority. For, of, verb, with, of, with, by is the most common structure. This is not correct sentence structure, what he has down there. Uh, if it were to be a title of something, like the way to correct this would be for the syntax, and then it would say of the Leon, and then in brackets, colon, space, Edwards, period. But that wouldn't make any sense, would it? Because then you would say you're syntaxing Leon Edwards. So this individual definitely, um, definitely doesn't have closure on correct sentence structure, at least. Now, does he have closure on syntax? We're going to find out. But if we take a look at his website here, his YouTube channel, I will say this, that I do have personal experience with this this man I've spoken with him uh, a few times over the years um, seems like a nice guy on a personal level he was involved with Mark Lower Case K. Kishon Christopher so here you can see in uh, 2013 in his video he says that he met Mark Christopher in 2013 In April 2013, I met Mark Christopher. I began a training program developed for me. This training was to strengthen character and confidence. Mark's training program is cut through all the fiction and the fictional language used in the world. It lets you see the world for what it really is. The world. Okay. So, that gives us a little bit of information about where this fellow is uh, psychologically. In that... They are a follower of Mark Lowercase K. Kishon Christopher, who does not have closure on correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, which I have certified multiple times through multiple videos, doing grammar audits of his website, uh, documents. I mean, when Mark was on YouTube, he didn't have any grammar videos except for parse videos. And the reason for it is that he doesn't know how to syntax. And... He doesn't know how to create a correct sentence structure. So Leon just said that he was a follower. Well, he didn't say he was a follower. He said that he took Mark's courses. And he mentioned grammar in there. So fast forward. Um, Leon and his partner uh, had a baby. And... Mark lowercase k, I think, is a godparent of the baby, but the baby was taken from them. I think this was like seven or eight years ago by social services. For whatever reason, I don't know. I'm not getting into that. It's a horrible thing to have happen. There's no doubt about it. What they did was they got in contact with Colin David Eiffelwin Colin Miller, who then began writing documents for their case in the hopes that they would get their baby back. Now, back then, Leon definitely had zero knowledge about correct sentence structure. He told me this. He didn't know anything about it. And then Mark got involved, Mark lowercase k, and became sort of an intermediary between Leon and David. And Mark supposedly, I don't know how you want to say it, represented them in certain instances. 
but you see what's going on here. First of all, David's documents, and I have seen them. Leon showed me a couple of them years ago. Had mistakes all over them. Number one. Number two, David Wynn Miller wrote those documents, so therefore, David Wynn Miller was the author of those documents, so therefore, he's the authority of those documents. For Leon or Mark to use those documents in any type of court setting is doomed to failure because neither one of them have closure on the grammar and they don't have any authority over the document contract postal vessel court venues. Only David does. Long story short, all those efforts failed. They don't have their child. And it's this many years later, and you know, their child is somewhere else, and now Leon is here doing this on this channel also. Uh, in 2018, right before David Wynn Miller passed away, he told Leon and Leon's partner that they could sell David's $200 book, print and sell David's $200 book uh, overseas to make money. Because David was, David was a very generous, kind individual. And I know this also from personal experience of speaking with him. And so he told them to do that. And so Leon began doing I think he still does it. Still sells David's book. I don't know what he sells it for, but he prints it and sells it overseas and advertises it. Now, as you well know, if you are a regular viewer of this channel, you know my position on that. Uh, the book, the $200 book that I personally bought from Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller back in 2013 or beginning in 2014 has mistakes all over it. I would never, ever recommend that to anyone learning correct sentence structure because it has errors on every single page, multiple, multiple, hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds of errors. It is a cool book for historic, from a historical perspective, and it is also a good source of looking at how to format things. But as far as the grammar itself, no. I challenge anyone out there to show me one individual who ever got correct closure on quantum grammar from that book because there isn't anyone out there who has. I can guarantee it, 99.9% .9 sure. So, let's get into it, you know, because uh, Leon is claiming to sell the book and he's also claiming that he learned this stuff from the book. Also, I think Leon did take a class from me. You know what? Let me look at my notes and see, for the record, what exactly transpired with that. So as you can see here, here are my notes. Uh, in January 26 or January 2019, he uh, we did a phone consultation, and he said he wanted to do a correct language workshop. Uh, he has no knowledge of correct sentence structure. January 21st, we had scheduled a workshop. Uh, he no-called, no-showed. And then on the 23rd, we did a workshop. And my notes are, Leon achieved a grasp of basic correct sentence structure. Which, I guess he must have backslid because he's showing no evidence of that on his website, as I just showed you. And that does happen, friends and neighbors. Learning correct sentence structure is like walking up a down escalator. If you don't practice it correctly, you end up going back down the escalator if you don't keep moving forward. If you're doing anything except for moving forward, if you skip a couple weeks, if you take a break, you're going to backslide. That's just the way it is. Uh, so I said he has a basic knowledge of the concepts of parse, which makes sense because Marcus Sean Christopher has the same level. Needs works on, on parts of speech, so he didn't know the 10 parts of speech. And of course, I don't mention anything about syntax because he had zero knowledge of syntax. And if you notice, on January 16th of 2019, he had no knowledge of correct sentence structure. He admitted it. So now, fast forward, 
20, 21, 22, 20, four years later. Let's see exactly where he's at with this. When you have the words that stand alone, that's the definition of a pronoun. Definition. DE means no. Finite means limit. And ION means contract. So. By the way, I can't really see what he's doing either. So if you can't see it, uh, don't feel bad. I'm just trying to listen to what he's saying as he's explaining it. This is this word cited, ED. ED is the past time. So this word becomes a, a, an end, a pronoun in the past time. 4.8. But if there was a number there, it's not a... It's just a 3. It, for example, if it was a 2 or 1 or a 3 or a 0, it would just be... A three and a zero it wouldn't be a date because it doesn't tell you that this is a break a break on the con this space is a break on the continuance of evidence so this number that's here is just a number it's just a three or a zero or one or a two or three three it's just a number it's not a, what we presume it's a date but they he just said we presume it's a date so he's injecting presumption assumption into his syntaxing. Friends and neighbors, that's why when you use numbers, if you're using them in correct sentence structure, you must position them with the position lodial phrase. And if you're syntaxing a paper, a document, if you're commandeering a document vessel, and that document vessel has words as well as numbers, the numbers need to be syntaxed. And the numbers would be syntaxed as tangible contract, of course, because numbers are fact-based. But there is no presumption assumption in correct sentence structure. So he just said, you presume that they're a date. No, there is no presumption. That's off the table. One and one is one. So s numbers, anything that's on the paper, would be syntaxed. You don't skip over anything because there are no presumptions, assumptions. They never told us that. So this, anyway, this word is Who's they? standing alone there as a pronoun. Same as here. This, this is a pronoun. Now we have um, uh, this number is inside brackets. So what I do is I come to the, the Quantum Grammar Study Guide on the back cover page. You could call this uh, the Styles Manual of uh, Correct Grammar. Uh, bracketing equals. So I, what I do, what I do is I go like this, and then I write bracketing. Closed. area court what area so these these numbers are not on the page they're off the page hold on ladies and gentlemen so leon is syntaxing, supposedly syntaxing a document because the grammar is not correct. Yet he's writing a sentence, an adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, on the paper that he's accusing of being adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction. He's writing fiction babble on a paper that, are, that has fiction babble on it. Does that make any sense to you? taken off the page they're not part of this pe this uh, vessel and the simple fix to that as again regular viewers of my channel or students of mine would know if you want to write in plain simple English if you want to write in Babel just put it in brackets everything you just wrote there could be put in brackets and it would be fine or you could write it in correct sentence structure 
if you have the closure, which he quite obviously does not. Here's another no prefix. And what I can show you is on page yeah, so it's 58, I think it is, 50, 63. Page 63, <coughs> tilde 39, tilde means location, location 39. For the fraudulent uses of the facts are with the negative claim of the prefixes. And then it lists out all the negative prefixes. And what you'll see is it's virtually all of the English language. <laughs> a, B, A, C, A, F, A, N, D, E, D, I, S, E, M, E, N, E, X, I, M, I, N, M, A, L. So let's just take a look at the sentence that Leon just read for us. Um, the tilde 39 is not positioned as a fact in the book. And it says, for the fraudulent uses, uses, it's a vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word, is no contract. Of the facts are with the negative claim of the prefixes, and then it has a colon, which means with the. And then it lists the prefixes, but they're underlined. And then it has, or with the modification of the noun by an adverb. It has an of the in front of a by the, which voids the mathematical interface. There are errors, hundreds of errors, literally, in this book. And I've just pointed a couple of them out right here. And this guy's selling this book as if it's some sort of textbook that you can learn this grammar from. But the reason I'm doing this audit of this video is to basically tell people caveat emptor if you're gonna get involved with someone like this then this is what you're getting oh m-i-s-n-e-n-o-n-o-n-n-o-r-o-b-o-c-o-p-o-f-p-r-e-p-r-o-p-r-i-p-r-u-r-e-s-i-s-u but again he's just basically talking par se so these are prefixes modify which is he, what he learned from Mark. It says, or with the modification of the noun by an adverb or adjective modification with the syntax claims claim of the Title 18 DCCS 1001 with the fraud syntax grammar penalty fees of the violations with the factual evidence by the summary corrections. So that's your, your list of negative prefixes. A conjunction is and, which is a command, or or, which is option. So that's a zero. Pronouns. <coughs> P-R-O. This is also... This section here, pro proceedings against executors, is in italic. So here, I write italic syntax equals void. Omit <laughs> and then syntax styles manual. Now there are global rules of uh, syntax, and all over the planet, these people. The people they they use these styles manuals so they know what this means so any words that are in sint uh, in italic or italics so again friends and neighbors using logic if you're going to syntax a document do forensics on a document if you're going to 
tell someone else that they're using a fictitious conveyance of grammar because they're using fiction babble. Does it make sense for you to also use fiction babble? <laughs> Does it make sense for you to use adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction babble on that document that you're commandeering? If you supposedly know correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, if you do, why wouldn't you use it? Why wouldn't you translate it into correct sentence structure, what he's doing right there? Unless, maybe you don't know how to do that. And also what he's saying about the styles manual. He's talking about a fiction styles manual. So he's giving jurisdiction to the fiction anyways over his document. So I guess in context of that, it makes sense. He's doing fiction with the fiction, using a fiction styles manual as the authority of what he's doing. Are off the page, they're void, they're not part of this vessel. And so this section here, proceedings against executives and administrators, is all in, is in italics, so that's off the page. So there we have a four, one, two, that's a no. Well, if it's in italics, you wouldn't syntax it because it's not there, right? And when, when I have, uh, sometimes when I have difficulty going forwards, I will syntax backwards just to catch up and to uh, figure it out. Hmm. I wonder where you learned that from, that concept. And when you have an adverb, which is a one, the previous, it modifies this forwards and it modifies backwards. What? It creates a pronoun in the previous. So the, the previous word becomes a pronoun. Okay, I've, I've seen enough. He just said an adverb creates a pronoun. Adverbs don't create anything. Adverbs are modifiers. Modification runs from port side to starboard side, from right to left. Modification does not run backwards. It runs one way. An adverb cannot modify backwards. Adverbs do not modify pronouns. So let's take a look at the syntax key here. Adverb. For the modifier of the next word is with a verb or with an adjective, not a pronoun. doesn't say anywhere on there that adverbs modify pronouns. This is a syntax key. Uh, originally written by Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller. Uh, and then I corrected it. And again, adverbs modify verbs and adjectives. They do not modify pronouns, Leon. So that's my audit of that video and of Leon's published correct sentence structure knowledge on a scale of one to a hundred percentage wise as far as what he knows as far as what I've seen from correct sentence structure and from his syntaxing knowledge I give him probably about a 25 percent knowledge level he doesn't have even a rudimentary grasp of how to do it uh, especially if he's saying things like modification running backwards and he's writing an adverb verb adjective pronoun on an adverb verb adjective pronoun fiction babble document. So again, this is nothing uh, personal, but this is something that I feel a duty to perform to the public, being that I do have a viewer base, and being that there are people out there looking at others to learn. There is only one other individual out there that teaches correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, and actually um, 
I don't know if they do anymore, but they were. And that is Colin Ricardo, Colin Marseille from this channel Raise Wisdom. And the reason why I certify him is because I'm his teacher, was his teacher. He got closure on the grammar. We worked together very closely for a long time. Uh, we did a couple cases together of which he was successful. And I mean successful in a foreign vessel in dry dock. You know, the ones that are supposedly closed. <laughs> Anyways, he's the only one I certify. This guy, the verdict is, he has no closure on the grammar. And uh, he did do a workshop with me, as I stated at the beginning. Did not get closure on the grammar. And still doesn't have closure on the grammar. And he still sells this book and sells it as if it is something that you can learn correct sentence structure from, which is completely and 100% incorrect. If you do want to learn correct sentence structure, there are over 600 videos on this channel for free where you can learn it and study it. I talk about the, you know, the simplest form of correct sentence structure from many, many different angles, all the mechanics, psychological mechanics, grammar mechanics, all those things, all available on this channel. You can look at the correct sentence structure playlist, the syntax playlist, the parse playlist, the mini class playlist, all those things you can look at and uh, study it. Or, that about does it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Hit the Subscribe button. Hit the Like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.